The 60th annual Harbor Day celebration highlighting the historic town of Elk Rapids has officially kicked off. 7 and 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Antrim County to fill us in on what's new this year and how you and your family can get involved. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. With us this morning is Corinne Prabacher. She's the co-executive director of Elk Rapids Harbor Days. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks so much for having us. Absolutely. So this is the 60th annual. Share some of the history with me. Yeah, so this is the 60th annual Harbor Days. We're excited to have our kickoff started yesterday and to have a full week of events. The history of Elk Rapids Harbor Days actually started before the harbor was even built. So it was a fundraiser to get the harbor um, underway and started to be built and so we're here at the harbor this morning and it's a beautiful morning and we've got a great week of events. Okay, so how's the setup going so far? Did Sunday night storm affect it at all? We um, have had to been working really hard over the last um, few days to clean up some trees and debris and branches, but uh, luckily nothing was damaged and all the power's back on and all the setup is ready to go. Okay, well that's good to hear. Now the event officially kicked off yesterday. Tell me if people are coming out today, what are some of the events they can expect today and throughout the rest of the week? Sure, we have a lot of fun events today, starting with Zumba in the park this morning. The district library is hosting a kids event this morning. Um, so we encourage kids to dress up in their princess and knight costumes and um, join the library for some quest games and root beer floats. And we have um, a lumberjack show that's new this year coming in. And and we will um, have th four different shows in Memorial Park. And then we're kind of capping off the event um, tonight with two new events, a live um, mic or Rock the Mic event and a talent show for the youth. Okay, and then tomorrow, just give me a brief explanation, and then uh, do the fireworks and parade actually kick off Saturday? Yes, our grand parade is Saturday at noon, and we have Zambelli International Fireworks um, at 1020 on Saturday night. And on Friday is our kids' day, so we have lots of events for the kids, um, games and sand sculptures and a swan race and all sorts of fun things. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And over here we have Captain Ben Hale of Inland Seas Schooner. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Of course. So I want you to tell me a little bit about the sales that will be taking place this week. And there's actually a free tour that people can take. Yeah, we have a free tour Saturday, uh, 7 till 9. And then uh, we are also doing sales. We have a Great Lakes Discovery sale, a couple of which are already sold out. And uh, it's an educational program where we teach people about Great Lakes ecology. And they actually get to, it's kind of a hands-on experience where they get to actually see some of the things that live in the Great Lakes. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. And coming up at 6.30, uh, the captain's actually going to take us aboard and give us a quick preview of what the tour would look like for you. All of this information and more will be up on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Elk Rapids, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Thanks a lot, Alyssa. I went to Harbor Days two years ago. Did you? I loved it, and you know why? Why is that? Well, because, of course, being in Elk Rapids, beautiful area. It is a great area. But I got area. to judge a chocolate competition. No kidding. So I got to eat chocolate for a couple hours oh, straight. Oh, nice. Not a bad gig. No, that's I don't for think sure. so. Elk Rapids is awesome. I love it down there. And sure it's is. nice. It's a nice family event. Mm -hmm. Kicked off yesterday. So with the weather uh, warming up a little bit, definitely a good time to get down there. Sure. Plus, we're live in Elk Rapids for the 60th annual Harbor Day celebrations. Coming up next, we're going to take you aboard the schooner Inland Seas. You're watching 7 and 4 News Today. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. With us is Corinne Prabacher. She's the co-executive director of Elk Rapids Harbor Days. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So uh, this is the 60th annual. Share some of the history. Yeah, the history of Elk Rapids Harbor Days was before the harbor was built. They started it as a fundraiser to start building the harbor. And 60 years later, we're here with a four fun-filled days of a festival for family and kids and the community. Okay, we were talking last half hour about how much the village has helped clean up from Sunday night storm. Yes, we had um, quite a few trees down and brush and it's all back up and ready to go. So we were happy to kick off last night and are looking forward to three more days of fun. All right, so if families want to come out today, what can they expect and throughout the rest of the weekend? Absolutely. Today we have a lot of fun events for kids and family. We have a lumberjack show happening different times. The library is hosting a princess and knight quest um, with root beer floats. And we have some talent shows and open mic competitions in the park. Okay, and then tomorrow's Kids Day, I heard. Tomorrow is Kids Day. We have games and festivities, um, sand sculpture things, and then we wrap up on Saturday with our grand parade and fireworks at dusk. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're actually going to go on board the schooner Inland Seas right now. And joining us is Captain Ben Hale. Thanks for being out here with us this morning. Sure, no problem. I know you and your crew members are actually sleeping beneath us right now, so we'll try to stay as quiet as we can. Uh, but there's a really important sale that's go taking place this week, and there's still openings, I heard. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, that's our microplastic sale, and we've actually lowered the rate. It's $20 per person for a two-hour sale. It's today, 2 to 4. Tomorrow, there's 9 to 11, and then uh, Saturday, it is uh, 5 to 8. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll put the correct times up, and then just kind of describe what this is and how helpful this is for our Great Lakes. Yeah, we're actually, uh, in this sale, we're actually participating in actual research. There's a professor over at the State University of New York in Fredonia who's conducting research as far as plastic pollution in the Great Lakes. So during the sale, we're actually deploying a trawl that is collecting data that we will, we will send to this professor to process. So it's actually going to be published data that uh, we're going to be collecting on the sale. All right. Now, 7 to 9 on Saturday, there's going to be a free dock tour of the Schooner Inland Seas. Kind of describe what you'll be teaching uh, kids and families as they come aboard. Well, when people come aboard for the dockside tour, they get to take a look around the boat, and then they uh, will get to see some of the stuff that we've collected throughout the day. Like, we, they might see, like, uh, things that live in the bottom. We might have some fish that we caught that day or even some plankton under the microscope. So they can take a look at those things in addition to the, to the ship itself. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And once again, we'll put all of this information and more on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Elk Rapids, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.